Hi, this video explains how the compiler works for C++ projects and also explains how to write a header file uh, properly so the, compila the compilation um, is a successful one. Um, when you are creating an application, uh, you have several files in your project. Assuming that the, the uh, schematics that you see over here, our project over here has four files, four modules one module, the blue one with its own header file, the red one with its own, green, and then the brown one that is our main application that uses the three green, red, and blue files. When you actually compile this code, it doesn't run in one pass. Compiler runs to the number of files, CPP files, that you have in your project. In this case, it's four. So first, it's going to run on the blue one, creating an object file, then on the red one, creating an object file for that, green one, object file for that, and finally at the end it runs the main project, that's the brown one, and creates an object file for that. And after all these things are done, then the linker part of the compiler is called linking these four object files together into one executable. The linker guarantees that all the calls you made in your CPP files to an external calls actually that you called in your CPP files that are referring to modules or functionalities in other files are actually present and they exist. If that's the case then the linker passes everything and uh, compiles your um, project into an executable. Now, to be able to write a multi-module application, each module of yours needs a header file so it can be used in other modules. For example, the blue module over here has a header file and it's included in the main module that is the brown. And as a result, the brown file, the main CPP file, can use whatever is written in the C blue CPP file. The same thing as red and green. Not only that, the green module is using the red module, which the header file of the green module has an include for the red one. As a result, the CPP, the green CPP, can use the modules and functionalities of the red. Now, this causes a problem. Take a look at the brown one. When the brown code is written, because it's using the three modules, it's going to include the first one, second one, and the third one, not knowing that the first one, that is the green one, already incl is, uh, includes um, the red one. As a result, as you see, the include for the red one happens twice. One inside the header file of the green and the other one by itself. When you compile this, compiler is going to fail and tell you that you have repetitive declaration over here. The red header file or whatever module you have in CPP is defined, declared twice in the main module and the code won't compile. So the fourth compilation will not be successful. Now we're going to try to find out how do we write the header files so this won't happen. For this, I have created an example. I created a car, um, an engine class. The engine class, a very simple class, holds few properties and does something. And then I have a car module that has an engine in it and as a result it needs to create it needs to include the engine.header file. So the header file of the engine, the header file of the engine um, is being included in the header file of car. Every car has an engine. Okay? Now let's look at the main. In main the car and the engine are included because main wants to create a car and wants to create an engine. And if I compile this code, you will see that says engine class type redefinition, which means it says you are defining the engine.header file in here like this, but it's already redefined it's already defined in the car header file because car already includes engine. 
So one include over here and the second include over here and that's a conflict. To prevent this problem and to make sure that each header file is being included once, we have to add something to a header file called a safeguard. A safeguard is a pretty simple thing to write. You have to just remember the pattern for it and try to use it. So what you need to do is to write a, a compiler command, we call it, anything that starts with a number sign as a compiler command. That is this. And then it's called if not defined. We don't need to know what does it do for now at this stage. Just remember that you have to add this and then after you do that everything's gonna work properly. So what you do at the top of your header file you write if not defined. Then using the name of your header file create um, a unique pattern that you always follow. For example, okay, and then in the second line type define and the exact same thing. So you, our pattern will be underline 244 underline and then the name of the header file in capital and an underline at the end. And I'm going to follow this pattern for all my header files throughout the semester. And then at the end, you type end if. So, and we have to do the same thing for car header files. So we come over here. If not defined. Now, I'm going to put underline 244 over here. And then I'm going to use the name of the header file that is car header file. And then an underline at the end. And then the second line, I'm going to write define. And then at the end, end if. So by doing something like this, you are actually telling to the header file, if this header file is not included, compile it. If it is already included, do not compile it anymore. You don't need to know the detail of this thing. When you are going to the next semester, this is going to be completely explained and you're going to know exactly what conditional compilation is. But for now, memorize this. If not define, unique pattern, define, repeat the unit pattern, unique pattern, and at the end put an end if. Now take a look at this engine. Same thing. So to walk through this, if I compile this right now, if I actually go to main and I compile this, compile, you will see that I'm not getting any error message. Just to explain what happened over here is this. When the first one is being included, it copies whatever we have in car header file and puts it over here, right? So what we're going to have is this. All the information that we have in here is going to come right into main.cpp. So what happens, the compiler starts compiling. It says, if not define this pattern, it is not defined because it's the first time the car is being included. So it passes through. And then it includes the engine. So it goes to the engine header file, copies all the text over here and says, if not define this pattern, this pattern has been never defined, so it defines it, compiles the goes and goes out. And everything's fine. The second time engine is being included, it goes back over here. It says, if not define this pattern. And because this pattern has already been defined in car.header file, then it completely skips everything and this is not going to get compiled. And as a result, no matter how many times you include engine.h or car.h, they only get compiled once. Take a look. I compile it. Still success because they are all set properly and it only compiles one. Of course, you're never going to write something like this, but it's just it was just a demonstration. Let's go back. So, and that is it. Thank you very much for watching. By the way, the source code of this program uh, is on GitHub, and you can you can see the URL in the description of the video on YouTube. Thank you very much, and have a beautiful day.